Hi, again. Uh, what's the purpose of this video? I wanted to uh, post something in uh, Zerano's showcase section of his forum because there's nothing in there. And also uh, take the opportunity to thank some people who have created some great assets that I'm using. Uh, and I thought it might spark off a bit of conversation and, uh, and stuff. So basically what I've got here is, uh, and I do apologise to, uh, who is it now, it's Philip Smith who makes the uh, big environment packs because I've, uh, I've butchered his here. What I've basically done is chopped all the rocks and trees out, I've... Uh, just left it as the bare landscape. It still, in my mind, looks fantastic, but uh, it looks a lot better <laughs> when I haven't done this to it. So if I uh, just show you what it actually looks like, I'm using UFPS to run around in. Uh, I use that for everything from uh, Vision Punk. But yeah, this is what it uh, usually looks like, something like this. But I've uh, hacked out, not hacked out, but turned off all the uh, all the nice things like the rocks and stuff. Uh, partly because cause I can't find these. These animals run around so fast, they I, I lose them. Uh, so yeah the big environment pack is really good and it, uh, I'm, I've got it on here because I'm studying it uh, I think it's sort of uh, Philip is known as being a, a bit of an expert in these things creating environments and rocks and terrains and trees they come with all sorts of uh, you know such as log levels and things and I bought I bought you know the big environment pack volume two basically to learn from learn from the master so i do apologize if uh, you know you can see where the rocks go so uh what we've got here is oh let me mention about navigation i'm having fun with the unity nav mesh at the moment because there are parts of it which are frightening like this for instance what the I don't know what my nav mesh agent will make of this but I don't know why it's there what it is what is that thing there it's just like a big flat bit and they're all over the place these things I have no idea what that is but I'm not sure you know so I think that regarding the nav mesh there are things on it that's causing me problems my settings are pretty much standard <coughs> excuse me uh, so I don't know what's up with it but that could be causing the odd problem when things get stuck so uh, I've got in here some animals somewhere I've got lions and zebras uh, we'll start with the zebra. The zebra's got, uh, as I say, it's using Mechanin AI, uh, and it's also got an animation control on it. The animation control is a pretty standard thing. It's got an idle if the speed is above point one. It goes to a blend tree with a walk, a trot, and a gallop you know that's sort of pretty standard stuff it's also got on it uh, one of Zorano's uh, Mechanim AI state machines it's another simple one and this works in conjunction with uh, Mechanim for animations but basically how this works is it finds the nearest predator uh, you know uh, with a tag of predator 
if it's uh, farther than 15 metres away, it does Serrano's example wander behaviour, just wander in random direction for a short amount of time. Uh, and then eventually goes back to idle. Now, if uh, there is a predator within 15 metres, it basically does the same wander, only it runs instead of walking. Uh, and I've called it flee, but it's effectively the same as walk on. It's just going faster. And I've put a little uh, audio file on there for galloping noise. So that's that's really simple. Uh, and, and those are the settings. You can pause the video and see them. And then I've got... Uh, Lions, well, a lion and a lioness. Uh, they've got slightly different uh, animation system. Uh, they haven't got a blend tree. I've been putting these states in, which is is no state at all. It's just nothing, so that I know I'm in the right animator controller for the right animal I know it says it down here but you do I do get mixed up so I've put this little box in there just to remind me it should be in the title somewhere there should be a title in this but basically uh, it's got an idle animation if the speed goes above 0.1 it goes into a walk if it goes above 2 it goes into a run and if this boolean trigger is triggered it does an attack animation and at the end it goes back to run or walk or idle pretty you know standard stuff uh, the, both lions basically use this sort of this similar system same system but the lioness is uh well, no, I'll do, I'll do the lion state machine. So this is the Mechanim AI part. Again, I've been putting these in because with the Mechanim AI, I have no idea which one I'm using. And, uh, and so I end up, you know, one might be broken and one's not. And I end up sort of screwing them both up. So I, I just put this little empty state in there. So basically, it's similar to the zebra, and it's going. If there isn't uh, any prey around, it's going to wander around walking. But if it gets some prey within twenty meters, then it's going to set a destination and follow it. Uh, unless it gets out of range, and then it'll go to idle, and obviously back to this. If it gets within two meters, it does this attack. It, in the, it's triggering it on the uh, animator controller. So I'll just click through these so you, you can see what the settings are. I think I've gone through them all. Yeah, that's about it. So, uh, the only difference between this one and the other one is got this little extra bit. What I found was that because these two are chasing this zebra, they end up inside each other's model because they both end up in the same place. And it's, and it's ultimately because I don't have any flocking behavior. So as a sort of a temporary solution, if uh, the li the, this, this lioness looks for predators as well and finds the position of the predator, and if the predator, another predator, is in two meters, it just slows down its speed and animation, uh, and it stops it from going inside the other lion. So I've talked enough. I'm going to let these run around uh, and f try and chase them.
There we go. Off they go. Uh, now I'm using for the lions. I've got final IK, and it's using uh, it's ray casting down through their feet to put their feet on the ground. You'll notice how the the zebra goes down up and down hills. They've lost it already. The useless lions. So these you can see how the the. the it's pointing down the hill instead of being horizontal. Uh, I'm going to stop and start this so you can see. Try and see how that zebra's going down in a straight line. And <coughs> the uh, the lions are hugging the terrain. why but this one should reacquire it and this is you know basic uh, mechanism AI behavior we've got uh, a little bit of behavior going on which I think is pretty cool so what uh, I'm going to have more than one zebra uh, a small herd of them and the way I'm going to do it or the way I think I should do it is the leader makes all the decisions looks for the predators and things and the other zebras basically follow it around with their own flea code uh, I think that would be more efficient than having all the zebras looking for all the lions all the time uh, so yeah, that's, this is just basically to show off uh, Mechanim AI and uh, the big environment pack, the full animal pack from uh, Proton Factor, Final IK, and uh, yeah, that's it. The fun starts, I guess, when I change my tag to be prey. Thanks for watching.